Welcome to the workshop. These days I was wondering how to improve my dandelion so it could be completely 3D printed. So I make experiments with a lot of different shapes and things and at the end I realized that if I make my 3D printer stringing on purpose this would be the best to have the dandelion seed. This is also very useful when you want to print things like grass or hair, fur and etc. Stay with this video to see how I'm doing this and just to show you what the end result is. We're starting our grass patch modeling with the base of our grass. Extrude this on one millimeter and then with the help of direct editing we copy the face on the distance we want our length of the grass to be. It should be a little bit more and I would recommend you to go in a little above 40 millimeters. Don't forget to mark copy so you have two then what we have to do next is to form our grass seed it should be <clears throat> with with minimum line thickness of your printer in my case or a little bit more than that is 0 0.35 and the other side should be your layer thickness. I would recommend you to use 0 0.2 for a printer with 0 0.4 nozzle. Now we extrude this up to the surface. And the next thing that we will use will be a fill pattern this is our boundary. We would like to make it on 0.5 millimeter from the edges and 1.5 millimeter one from each other. And now we choose our seed. Now this is not very dense. If you want to be den more dense, you have to choose one. Now, if we want to make this even more irregular as shape, we can use dome, for example. And I will add one more thing. And now our custom grass will be ready. We can cut it here or lower and we can save this as STL now.
and this is how it will look in our slicing software now i hit slice layer thickness 0 0.2 as i said i can increase the speed and as you can see this small patch of grass will print for 40 minutes so that was from today's video don't forget to like it ask your questions in the comment section below the video and subscribe for the channel if you want to see more videos like this. See you next time. Bye.